Okay, in today's video, we're going to take a look at um, you know some of the recent decisions, and some of you already know this because you've been watching the updates or reading the articles. But um, we had some really nice time symmetry at the low that was made this week, and it comes from measuring these prior declines. This was 14 weeks down. This was 14 weeks down. And this is 14 weeks down. Now, it's a lot broader as far as, you know, um, the amount of the decline, but the time symmetry is there. Now, that's one of the reasons why we were anticipating a possible counter trend low, okay, because, you know, the charts are still bearish at this point. Um, and then the next question is going to be, well, hey, uh, is this a more important low that's going to take us to new highs or at least, you know, a nice rally and much deeper upside correction or are we just going to run into resistance and roll over and die I don't know the answer to that question so what we typically do is you know we use the parameters we use triggers to tell us that it's worth placing a bet against the zone and then you watch the decisions on the flip side okay and that's kind of similar to what I had shown on um, or in the case of Amazon where we had big resistance that we ran into on the close yesterday in Amazon. Today it declined, I believe, about $82 from that area. And it declined into support and then triggered a new buy area and then rallied 70 bucks. I mean, there are crazy swings in this market. Um, if you are able to watch the charts, you know, all day long, then obviously you can take part in, in some of those setups. But obviously if you can't, then, uh, you know, I mean, these, these markets are just a little bit too um, volatile, I think, for most people. Anyway, um, but this becomes your next decision. All right, we've got an S&P cash symmetry that we have to watch for a possible failure because what we knew was that we had time and price at this low. What we don't know is if we're only going to um, get a corrective rally into resistance and then roll over or if we're just going to continue to rally and blow through that resistance and get much more on the upside. So you just take it from one decision to the next. This gave you buy signals yesterday. It also gave you buy signals today. Now via the S&P Cash daily chart, you can see a little bit more detail. Um, we did have the um, timing also on the daily chart via the histogram, which were, is uh, basically calendar day cycles cycle projections off of that last high to look for the next low. And now, are we going to fail at this resistance or are we just going to continue to blow through this and continue to rally? Now, I would say that I'm leaning towards seeing a little bit more on the upside at this point due to these, you know, 14 week cycle. But of course, you know, I could be dead wrong on that assessment. So what do you do? You just trail up your stops on the last setup decision, which was a counter trend buy uh, against this timing, right? All right, that's what I have for you in that. And, um, you know, there's uh, plenty of others that you can take a look at on the updates if you want to check it out and just do a trial. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow.